peregrines are a falcon, peregrine falcons. They are a bird of prey. They've got the talons, the beak, and the eyes. Uh, but peregrines are known for flying very fast. In fact, they're known as the fastest animal on the planet, typically hunting 60 to 160 miles per hour. They like their technique, their, um, the way they survive by capturing things in the air is by going very high, so high in the air that we can't see them, but they can see us. But they're not looking for us. They're using their eyes to find their food, which might be a small bird, anywhere from like a finch or a starling or a, or a sparrow or anything as large as a duck. Um, peregrines weigh between one and a half to two pounds is pretty normal size. Females being larger, this is star, and she weighs about two pounds. So uh, they'll come diving out of the sky and grab their food with their feet, or they will, um, maybe if the bird's too big, they might just punch it and knock it out of the sky and then come down and try to grab it, um, either on the ground or as it falls. And so to help them fly so fast, they have long and pointed wings. That makes it easy for them to move their wings through the air. Now, if you think of a big eagle with those big bulky wings, it's hard for them to flap so fast. But small skinny wings can flap very quickly and they can provide her ability to turn and move in the air still. But if a, you see a falcon flying, they're almost always flapping because their wings are not big enough for gliding and soaring very well. And so they're usually flapping and going fast. Another thing you might notice, let's see if we can see on, on star, I can see it um, on the screen there, little bumps in her nose. Well, that's comfortable. That's a very comfortable thing. She just roused to make sure all her feathers were where she wanted them. Just like when you move your hands through your hair or maybe readjust your clothes after playing outside or running. Um, so let's see if we can see that bump in her nose. See that? Her, that yellow part right above her beak is where her nose is at on her sear. Her nostrils have a little bump inside and we think that helps them to survive by going when they go so fast that it slows the air down so they can breathe it. If she's moving at 100 miles an hour in the air, that means that the air is going at her at 100 miles an hour and might go into her nose that fast and that would be uncomfortable and make it difficult to breathe and so you can see that over there a little bump in her nose helps her survive while she's captured or helps her more likely to capture her food and therefore survive while she's hunting things out of the air if you were to run a race and hold your breath you'd be less likely to win the race and so by being able to breathe well while flying so fast makes her more likely to capture her food. Falcons are also known for having very long and skinny toes, and that helps them as they grab birds. Um, birds have a lot of feathers, and so she wants to get those long skinny toes in between the feathers and then finally get a hold of that, the body of the bird and capture it. Well, there she is. This is Star. You can tell she's um, a two-year-old bird. You can see some of the, she, as a, when they first hatch, they grow in brown feathers. And their first year, they molt and mostly grow in all of their gray feathers. But she's got just a few more brown baby feathers mixed into those gray feathers, her adult feathers. And so she is um, all grown up just has a few baby feathers left to lose this spring, this, uh, this summer and fall. She's beautiful.